From Hybrid Studios in Santa Ana, California, this is the Art of Music Tech. Your guest today, founder of Lewitt Microphones, Roman Pashan. And now, here's your host, Fela and Dennis. Uh, hello, guys. We're here at the beautiful Hybrid Studios in Santa Ana, California for Artist Relations Endorse Expo. Uh, welcome to the Art of Music Tech podcast. I'm your host, Fela, with my mixing partner and business partner, Dennis. And we're here with the owner uh, of Lewitt Microphones, Roman Pershawn. Hi. Hello. All right. Hi, Fila. Thank you for coming Hi, on. Hi, Roman. Oh, it's my pleasure. All right. All right. Um, wow, this is so great. I've been dealing with uh, Lewitt microphones for about five years now. Time flies. Oh, yeah. my goodness, <laughs> time yes. Flies. And uh, you guys only get better every time I Thank see you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the technology and the innovation every year is just inspiring. It's just it's great. I take it all around the world with me and... You guys just get better with each step. Wonderful. It's very motivating to hear that. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. yes, definitely. Um, we just wanted to know, uh, we were curious about how it started. What was your story into this brand and creating this monster? Well, <laughs> <have> <laughs> this <now>. monster. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, I, I always had a passion for music. Mm -hmm. um, I even learned piano as a, as a kid, but soon would find out that I'm more interested in the technical side and so later on I, I opted to study electronics and um, after I completed university I, I joined AKG as a strategic purchaser and project manager and at that time it was a very interesting uh, first uh, assignment for me to, to learn and to, to see um, how products are created, uh, what it takes to develop them, what it takes to source them. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I spent a few years there. And uh, after a while, I, I I've thought to myself, actually, there could be more innovative uh, products. And in a corporate field like back then, uh, actually, some of these ideas got swallowed. And um, yeah. Um, and then one day, actually, the opportunity evolved to, to found uh, a new brand. I found a partner um, mm -hmm. who basically uh, invested in my ideas and uh, also had uh, uh, a good uh, production site, actually the largest uh, and uh, most professional production site for microphones in South China. And um, so from that time on, actually, my task was to, to build an engineering team in Austria um, and to build branding in Austria. And yeah, we founded the company in 2009. And since then, yeah, a lot of things has nine happened. Years yeah. and <laughs> nine years. Nine years, a lot of great microphones. Uh, you release about two or three mics a year, right? Or more. Yeah, at that's, least two that's, or three. Yes, you know, as a young company, we want to uh, basically we have a lot of crazy ideas, a lot of uh, interesting ideas, actually too many ideas. And um, even after we break down all of on these ideas, uh, we end up with at least three or four per year, which we want to turn into products, um, which is a lot of uh, work for us, given that we are not a huge company, but uh, all our staff is uh, very experienced, very dedicated, and um, it's actually lots of fun to work together and, and bring these products to life. So, yeah, we hope it's it's three or four or even more products a year. Um, and we continue growing, actually. So let's how see. long how long does it take uh, for you to uh, uh, develop from from just a simple idea to actual uh, product? How long does it take for you to develop um, and then build? A microphone. Yeah, it's it's it re really depends very much on on what type of product, how complex the product is, or or and and also how new it is for us, um, the technology. Um, but typically, you can say you need around at least nine months for developing a product, and then another three to six months to put it into mass production to make sure that everything is sorted out and uh, quality is where it should be. So typically, uh, a year and three months, something like that. All right. Well, great. Well, this year, uh, what are you, what's the latest gear for this year that you're debuting for NAM and, and well, Norse Expo? 
Yeah, actually, uh, just a few months ago, we uh, introduced the LCD 540 Sub Zero, a very special uh, recording device. Yeah. It's a large diaphragm uh, 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 cardio pattern uh, studio microphone. And it's very special because it lets you rediscover sound again. So mm -hmm. why does it do that? Basically because uh, it's better than human hearing. Yes. So mm -hmm. actually the self-noise values of the Sub-Zero are below the human hearing threshold. And therefore it allows you to record high resolution sonic images. And also you can make even the, the inaudible audible again. So even uh -huh. the tiniest signals you can record. And actually, it, it captures all the, the fine-grained characteristics of vocals or instruments alike. So it's, it's really a, a revolutionary tool. And it's also our, one of our flagship microphones. So it comes with all uh, the flagship features, such yes. as pads and low cuts, a clipping indicator, clipping history, automatic attenuation, and also perfect match technology which uh, is a technology where we're, we, in factory, we, we calibrate every single mic to the very same sensitivity. Mm -hmm. So sub is also a very good uh, uh, tool for stereo or surround recordings. Uh, yeah. Amazing, amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's actually available in shops right now for uh, 699 US dollar, and it comes in a uh, military-grade protective case and includes a, a, a pop filter as yeah. well as a, a shock mount. Really really great tool and then here at NAM actually we are we are uh, first time showing our LCD 441 flex mm -hmm. um, it's a, a very special multi-pattern multi microphone condenser microphone with a special Lewitt twist uh, we tend to say <laughs> always, oh, always. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we love it <laughs> thank you yeah yeah, with the, with the LCD 441 Flex, we basically followed the same uh, design approach as with our award-winning and highly acclaimed LCD 440 Pure. Yeah. So we took actually the key technologies of our flagship line and uh, took the essence and put it into a compact studio housing. Mm -hmm. And, well, what's the, what's the special Louis twist that LCD 441 Flex is basically that we have eight uh, polar patterns, but only uh, five of them are the traditional ones, like you have Omni, Broad Cardioid, Cardioid, Super Cardioid, yeah, and, and yeah. Figure 8, right? Uh -huh. uh, but we also added uh, three more patterns, which are reverse patterns, uh, which let you point the microphone in the other direction, so it flips the pattern by 180 degrees. Uh -huh. And that comes in quite handy in various situations. Uh, you can Imagine, for example, if you set up a drum set and you have placed all the microphones, everything is face aligned, you don't want to touch it again, right? And then flex being your room mic, maybe you find out you want to have more room sound and then you can, at the press of a button, you can reverse the direction of the microphone, point it towards the walls and get all the reflections and therefore have a much more lively room sound, right? Yeah. And you can do that without uh, repositioning all the mics. Yeah. It's very handy, right? And, uh, Ingenious, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and another nice, another nice application would be in front of a guitar cabinet, where you basically can positioning very tight in front of the speaker cone, right? Yes. And then, if you use the reverse pattern, you still have the user uh, uh, indication oh, okay. pointing towards you, so you yeah. can always check and monitor in which state the microphone is. Wow. Very handy, yeah. And. Well, that, that microphone we are debuting at, at, at NAMM show, All right. and it will be uh, in, in shops in March. And um, yeah, it sells for 399 US dollar. It comes with a, with a wow. shock mount and also a magnetic pop filter. Now, and it's very that, affordable, right? Yes, that, yeah. that's the other thing I love about Lewitt is that it's affordable, but at the highest quality you could have in, in mics. Um, a lot of uh, the older manufacturers, they have their flagship mics that just so like outrageously priced. And it's like, how can mm. a normal person that wants to get into this even afford it? You know, uh, 1500 or, you know, 
dollar, you know, mic, but we're talking about condensers at a four hundred dollar. Or I price mean, point. LCT two hundred and forty Pro goes for one hundred fifty. Yes. I think, on the market, right? Exactly. Yes. And that's, and a, that's uh, a great mic. We've amazing got, mic. Yeah, we've gotten that for our clients, like the the museum, the jazz museum um, in Harlem. We in New use York. that. Yeah, great. Yeah, they um, purchase they purchase yeah. little microphones and Wonderful. they love it for their grand piano. So, um, so yeah, um, we love it. How were you able to keep that par- price point down with your microphones? Well, uh, we have a very, so to say. Um, modern setup of our company. So uh-huh. what we do is we develop all our products in, in Austria. Mm-hmm. So this is where our intellectual property is. We uh, do all the product design there. We do the mechanics there, software, electronics. All of them is done in, in Austria. And once we've developed the products, we basically transfer it for production uh, to our China production facility, uh, which is also a state-of-the-art production plant mm-hmm. in business for more than 20 years, mm-hmm. where we have um, a great depth of production technologies so Mm -hmm. we can do all in-house and have great control Mm -hmm. of our quality and with such an international setup we we are able to to stick tight to our key ingredient of the brand which is actually to provide affordable gear at very high uh, quality and uh, with a lot of features oh yes and it has staying power i just i was all around the world with just about my whole stage was uh Lewitt Mikes with Christian McBride doing um, New John, his oh, uh, quartet. Yeah, so yeah, and they live handle, recording. They by the way, yeah. live recording, live recording at the same time on the road. Even just in the studio, we we use the products on everything. I mean, it's we live it. So thank you, um, very motivating. Yeah, so thank you so much for taking time um, out of your day. I think I have another question. Do, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, Hold yeah. On one uh, yeah, we were talking about last year. The ribbon mics, are you planning to enter uh, yeah. the, the ribbon mics uh, uh, At this market? point, I cannot say anything about ribbon mics. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting market, though. We are monitoring it. And oh, okay, maybe, okay. who knows? All right. <laughs> all right, all right. At this point, okay. uh, I have well, no more info. We're looking forward to it, definitely. <laughs> looking forward to definitely. It. Thank you so much, Roman. Uh, oh, it's for my your pleasure. time. And yes, we're here at Indoors Expo. Uh, thank you so much for your time, and that'll be all. We'll talk to you guys later. All right. Thank you, Fila. Thank you, Dennis. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. Alright guys, and we just heard a recent recording we've done with Lewitt Microphones and friend of ours, Swiss Chris, yes. amazing drummer. Yep, hip-hop, R&B drummer that always brings it. <laughs> we love recording with him. Um, and yeah, that, that full kit. Actually, Dennis, you, you go ahead and tell the, the specs of what we used on that. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's start with the kick drum. We used two microphones on the kick drum which is yamaha sub kick to get that thump and lct 550 a condenser mic on the kick drum but what we did we just put a, a blanket on top of the kick drum we sort of like covered and got that a natural sound acoustic sound through uh, lct 550 and that sub frequency with the yamaha sub kick mic so uh, best of the both both worlds on the sub uh, on the sub frequencies and uh, clarity MTP 940 on snare we mic from the bottom to get the extra snap yeah. MTP 340 floor tom to get a punchiness and the, you know a thick sound. Yep, love those live. Great for front of house. They can get beat up. <laughs> but yeah, they they still sound great on on the floor tom rack tom. Uh, many other applications. They the great thing about loot mics, they flexible. They sound great on everything. Very true. All right, and also we had a couple overheads left right. We used LCT five fifties as well. We got the left and right side of the drum kit, 
and you hear the clarity that it's very detailed not harsh sounding you know mid-range in top end yeah and going through focus rate preamps and claret converters you get crystal clear sound at 48k if you go higher 96 yeah. you get even better <laughs> oh yeah which we've done in the past as well so by utilizing you know great mics great preamps great cables you get that clean recording yeah yeah spend less time in post production fixing it you know adding extra plugins that sometimes those plugins they don't sound as good as analog gear now uh, yeah that's where you get the warmth warmth but if we're talking about plugins of course We've mentioned Acoustica Audio. They made amazing plugins. You can work with them. That's what we actually do. We record good quality audio to tape. Yeah, the best converters and, and preamps we can use to get the signal to tape and uh, do the rest with the, the, with uh, the great Acoustica plugin. Audio plugins. Uh, utilize, uh, utilizing best of both worlds. Oh, yeah, yeah, those mics... Uh, LCT series, they got a new version of oh, yeah, Flex, 441 Flex, yeah. Ron was talking about, yeah. Sub-Zero, oh, my below goodness. human hearing, that's, <laughs> I'm not going to say ridiculous, but I just said it, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, he's always pushing it, as, as you heard in the interview, it's just. That's how they roll. Yeah, it's just how they roll. In, in Austria, and they let, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yo, yeah, exactly. Hey. Yeah, same know, work ethic. That's his home country, exactly. I only start counting the rips after it burns. He's like, he's, he's exactly, that's how they do it. Known to be yeah, his known quote. <laughs> that's amazing. They do two, three microphones a year. Every year you see them with brand new product and totally different technology. Yeah, yeah. That's that's why we continue to use them and and um, and improving our own sound. Yeah, that's that's I'm amazed by you know how technology in 21st century they just allows you to do so many great things. Yeah, you never thought about. <laughs> Again, it, being able to use these products live as well as in the studio and those microphones great on. Both, yeah. live and studio. Oh, yeah. They can take a, a licking, too. So, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's great. I mean, we had to hit, I mean, this was at Swiss's house. So, I mean, we were on the road. <laughs> that, base, that was kind of a live gig. I mean, it, it wasn't, you know, we had to bring everything to, um, to his place. So, yeah, great times, though. Great times. And we're using them on podcasts. So <laughs> oh, whatever yeah. you hear now. You hear through a little microphone. Exactly. And, of course, great Focusrite preamps and converters, which we utilize in on many applications, yeah. studio life. And, yeah, the Lewitt microphones add that extra touch without adding any color. Yeah, yeah. Um, live, I don't have to deal with a lot of high-end issues um, that that some condenser mics just bring feedback. Yeah, and it, and it's it's you too have, much yeah. feedback on, in the live um, situation. So therefore, for the longest, you know, that's why most people don't use condensers. But this technology is just bringing it around to where you can use it in both applications, which works great for us. Because, I mean. When you're a small company, you can't afford to have several different pairs of stuff. It's just like, oh, it is, you know. A pair of $8,000 mic. I mean, I think yeah. Telefunk has a, a, a matched pair for $20,000. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's great when you have $20,000 on, on the pair of mics. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I might, well, how about get a ten, 10 or 15 great mics for twenty thousand dollars <laughs> exactly exactly and um yeah we're gonna be sharing with you more uh manufacturers and and more gear that keeps within this line uh of of not breaking the bank and um but bringing great technology and, and improving um, your sound and improving your sound so uh 
thank you once again for checking out the Art of Music Tech podcast. I'm your host, Fela. And Dennis. All right. And please leave comments, share. We just want to grow this. And thank you for listening. For more information of booking 23DB Productions, visit their website at 23dbproductions.com. Like and follow 23DB Productions at Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter for the latest work.